time for rock news on 1011 WJRR, Orlando's rock station. Let's check in with Lynch and Taco and see which rockers are making the headlines for all the right and wrong reasons. 1011 WJRR. All right, a few of you asking uh, what the keyword was for Rock the Bank this hour because you evidently missed it. That's okay. We got you back. It was check, C H E C K, check. WJRR.com is where you go with that keyword check. A box pops up, you enter check in it. All right. And uh, then if your phone rings the next hour, be sure to pick it up because that could be uh, Prize Headquarters alerting you to uh, winning $1,000 and rocking the bank. Keep it on JRR all day. We're going to do this 12 more times. Mm-hmm. So, are you. Uh, I'm ready. Gonna enjoy those tacos while uh, while I bring the rock news here. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna eat them while you do that. But big thanks to uh, Tijuana Flats. It's not only Taco Day today; they're celebrating Taco Week over there. Mm, okay. They brought us in some tacos. Thank you, Tijuana Flats. Begin with some five finger death punch news. Uh, Ivan Moody injured himself uh, last Thursday at uh, the Louder Than Life Festival. Uh, Cracked some ribs, and um, as a result of that, the band had to bail on uh, opening for Metallica in Mexico City what a on Sunday. Yeah. But I, I've had cracked ribs. They're nothing to anybody that's broken ribs before or cracked them. You know. So. Oof. How do you do it, though? It fell on the stage. Oh. Uh, Metallica got Mexican metal band Agora to... Uh, pinch hit for five finger death punch uh as you know the deftones are coming uh to central florida today is a tuesday ticket takeover you can win tickets on the jr instagram i would strongly suggest swinging by at 1011 wjrr if you'd like a chance to go to that for free um oh one other louder than life festival uh notes um they had to cancel friday's lineup because of the the weather in yeah you know, helene that was one of the Slayer reunion shows, so fans were not happy. Oh, I'm sure. Not happy about that, but, uh, you know, understandable. There's no doubt about it. Mm-hmm. Um, Johnny Van Zant from Leonard Skinner has updated uh, fans on the situation that caused the band to have to cancel several shows and Johnny to rush back home here to uh, the Jacksonville area. Uh, his daughter was... Uh, hospitalized and they have done some investigating they found a non-cancerous mass on uh, his youngest daughter's brain oh my gosh luckily it's non-cancerous and uh you know the prognosis is good so he just wanted to, to pass that along to fans to kind of circle back to what had happened hey understood family comes first man uh cannibal corpse guitarist eric rutan um had to bail from their European tour to come back to his house uh, in the Tampa Bay area, which suffered catastrophic damage from Helene. Mm -hmm. (laughs) You're seeing this stuff all over. John Daly, I saw his house got whacked up in the Big Bend area. I believe it. We're actually over in the Tampa area. I'm sorry. Um, Well, yeah, I mean, that flood water, all, all the flood waters. Um, Oasis have announced uh, some North American dates, um, first ones in 16 years, with a social media post that said, America, Oasis is coming. You have one last chance to prove that you loved us all along. That, of course, these shows provided they survived their reunion concerts in the UK and Ireland next summer without splitting up again. The five shows scheduled in North America, starting with Toronto on August 24th, then uh, you got August 28th in Chicago, August 31st in East Rutherford, New Jersey, September 6th in L.A., and September 12th in Mexico City. I'm surprised that's all they're doing. I know. Now, if they had one here, would you go? I like Oasis. Yeah. I'm no, not I'm afraid to admit that. No, I like that band. I didn't say there's anything yeah, to be I, afraid I, I'd of. I'd go see them, um, not only because I enjoy their music, but uh, I, I, I'm sure there's just constant tension that you can detect. Between the Gallagher brothers, Lynch. which I'm sure makes for a great dynamic. Lynch likes that stuff. Look, Bobby's going to nail it. <laughs> you never know. You might be there to witness uh, history again, right? Uh, the Foo Fighters, in uh, not a surprising move, have decided to go on hiatus 
for a while. This follows, of course, the bombshell news of Dave Grohl fathering a child outside of his marriage of 21 years. Um, they had to back out of the appearance at Southside Festival in Connecticut. Um, and they have basically just shut down operations for a while. Uh, somebody from inside the uh, band's organiza- organization just says, look, the uh, they need time to be with their families and focus on regrouping. Been a, a rough few years, of course, with the loss of Taylor Hawkins. Then Dave Grohl's mother passed away, and now the birth of this child. Uh, the source said he wants to be at home and focus on earning back the trust of his family, and being on the road isn't the best thing for any of them at the moment. And it feels like a hiatus is best thing for them collectively. All right, he's going to be walking on eggshells back at home. <laughs> Man. Uh, there's more to the Jane's Addiction uh, Boston story that uh, you know basically ended the group's tour. Uh, it sounds like the band may be done for good. It was revealed that there was more fighting backstage after Perry Farrell punched Dave Navarro on stage in Boston. Uh, Dan Cleary has been a guitar and bass tech for the band for 17 years. And he said that uh, uh, Cleary, that when the group were all backstage after the incident, (laughs) Dave Navarro told Perry Farrell, I'm never playing with you again, you piece of S. And that caused Farrell to punch Navarro in the face again. Really? Yeah. I'm surprised Navarro didn't just stomp him. I Uh, saw Perry at Rockville, and uh, he wasn't the biggest. And finally, there's this. I know uh, Taco Day is taking all the glory, but it is also National CD Player Day. Oh, really? Yes. I am uh, still a partisan to the compact disc. I don't think you can top the sound quality if you don't mind the hard manual labor that goes along with all things that come with a CD and will end with this and perhaps maybe go down memory road or... Provide some new information for those of you who might be too young to really remember dealing with CDs. Today is National CD Day. For those of you who remember going to the music store, buying a compact disc from your favorite artist, and it was in long box packaging so stores could file them in the same bins as the albums. And then you had to use your fingernail to open the plastic wrap to get to the CD and then peel off the sticky label tape to get to the disc, only to pry it from the plastic sprocket in the middle, load it into your compact disc player, only to find out that there were only one or two good songs on the entire disc so enjoy your automatic downloads without cool booklets and artist photos lyrics and production notes and celebrate national cd day WJRR Orlando's Rock Station